Wir sind auf einer Hochzeit. Eine Million Meilen von zu Hause weg. Da kann doch viel passieren. What's important for you in a rom-com? What are the main ingredients for you? Well, there's there's a lot of other stuff, you know, the the, the locations and and all the way that what the story is. But the the only thing that really matters in any rom com is the two people that are romming and comming together. <laughs> uh, and so you can spend all this time on the other stuff, but it, it you need to have two people that you want that you want to watch like each other. You want to watch fall in love, and also two people that actually like each other. Yeah, and uh, and that's all it is. And that's what this really movie is. These two actors Sid and Glenn who just had a great time together and and you want to watch them fall in love on camera. Uh, speaking about that, um can you talk a little bit about the casting process of um Glenn and Sydney? So yeah, so Sydney actually chose or cast Glenn. They had oh, met, okay. <laughs> they only met they met once. This is such a Hollywood story. They met once on a on an award show when Glenn oh. gave Sydney an award literally on the stage. And they had a little interaction, and then Sydney said, "I think he'd be great," and that's how that happened. Okay. So, they, but they didn't really have any spend any time whatsoever together at all uh -huh. until we started making the movie. So, um, Sydney saw something in him, and she was right. That's really Hollywood, like I agree on that. Yes. Um, yeah. and this is an R-rated film. Um, I was wondering, what was your experience with R-rated film when you were growing up? Were you allowed to watch them actually? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, I grew up in 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 New York City, so okay, <laughs> fair enough. Really wasn't any any. Uh, no one ever told us we couldn't go to the movies. Um, <laughs> so I remember seeing a lot of our movies growing up. Although a lot of movies when we were growing up were still PG, but would be R now. Yeah, there were some yeah. changes. What's your favorite R-rated film? The, my favorite R-rated films were all the, all the Eddie Murphy movies growing up. Oh, okay. <laughs> and and those are, I still remember, that was actually one of the movies I had to sneak into. They, they, were, <laughs> they were pretty hard on that one, but we were very young and you wait till someone goes in and then you ask them to buy you a ticket. <laughs> um, so that was my, that was my first real R-rated movie that I loved going to see in the theaters. What do you actually like about this R-rated movies? Because you've, you've did one before, I guess, Friends with Benefits was an R-rated yeah. film as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just that you can, you know, romantic comedies have a tendency to be soft sometimes, which is mm -hmm. which is um, very good. But also in order to talk about an adult stuff that everyone's going through, you kind of have to push it to the R. Um, so it kind of gives you the freedom not to have to put handcuffs Absolutely. on what story you're telling. It's not like you make an R movie trying to make it as nude as possible. It's not that at all. It's just that it frees you up to be able to talk about anything. Mm -hmm. um, Definitely with friends with benefits because that was about sex, but this one more about what they were going through, what Sydney right. and Glenn's character were going through. Right. So, you know, it's a very kind of edgy romantic comedy. By that edgy, we just mean adult. And uh, we have to talk about Ben's comfort song because I love the appreciation of the song throughout the whole movie. Um, how did you come up with that? Um, there's a couple songs in my in my head, deciding which one to use for that, and. <laughs> I used I used one of Natasha Bedingfield's song for another one of my movies a few years mm -hmm. ago. Um, so you're a fan. So I I just like that kind of genre, which uh -huh. is one of the songs that people never want to admit that they like, but they can't stop singing it. True that. Um, <laughs> and it's kind of so there is between that and another song, which I won't tell you. And it was I was deciding which one at the last minute, and then I asked everyone right before, and it was unanimous that it has to be unwritten by Natasha right. Bedingfield. <laughs> Um, and then uh, it, it's 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 pretty funny actually. Überzeugend genug. Ah!